Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, I want us to do trade reviews. Um, some of the stocks that I traded on uh, Friday, just going to review that with you guys. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, so you can see here, it wasn't a really bad day, made some good money. Um, as always, guys, we are not greedy savages, so we take what the market gives us. We're not chasing Lamborghini money because that's not easy to come by. So we take what the market gives us. Friday, our trading is usually choppy, so I try to be cautious and just take what I'm given. I take my profit given the opportunity. I missed out on some profit in some of the trades, but... Um, at the end of the day, I'm green. That's all that matters to me. So let's jump right in and take a look at some of the stocks. You can see here, ISNS, uh, um, Pixie. And those are the ones that we had on our watch list this morning. So uh, on Discord, I put out the watch list there. And I mean, some of the stocks turned out really good. So let's jump in, take a quick look. The uh, first one here is ISNS. This is how it came out of the gate. So pre-market, you can see um, it was, you know, it, it was pretty quiet, but yesterday after hours, it really went all the way to like 6.5. Uh, and then, uh, so I was anticipating that it would pop this morning. So right out of the gate, I flushed a little bit, crosses VWAP, gave me a little bit of confirmation right here. Um, and so I got in the trade here um, around 5.7, it squeezed all the way to 5.9, I got out. And then um, it flushes. And then give me again another opportunity right here where it crosses VWAP. So I got in get here around 5.8 and all the way to 6. Point, I think like 6.08 um, or 09. That's where I got out of the trade. And then you can see again it flushes. So it just kept repeating that pattern like three or four times. So flushes, ripped, flushes, and then ripped, and then flushes, and then try ripping again. This is where you can see that the pattern is trying to, to, is trying to break. It's not keeping um, the same pattern like it did here and here. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to trade this one. So I was already in the money. So I stopped trading that. Um, it tried repeating that pattern again and finally broke into the downside. As you can see there, um, went south. So I got out of that one with some good profit. So again here, um, notice again, my entry point is just right, crosses that VWAP. Um, and then a little bit of volume comes in. Same here, crosses VWAP, a little vol volume comes in, and that's how um, I was able to take that trade. So um, let's go to the next one. Next one I traded was Pixie. So this one, same thing. Um, right out of the gate, it, it, it kind of pulled back a little bit here, so I didn't take the trade. I waited, showed me some confirmation. This first, um, this candle right here, the second candle right here, um, I almost got in the trade here and held myself back and then pull back right here. This is where I got in the trade around 3.6 just right when it crosses VY because I saw some volume coming uh, right here because notice here the volume here is red, here is green. And then I got in and then it squeezed up um, to around 3.9 or so. And then I got out and then got another one here almost like the ISNA. Um, ISNS trade, uh, same thing, pull back again, uh, crosses VWAP. So I got in right here around 3.7 and got out about 3.9. So it wasn't like massive wins, but at the same time, you know exactly when to get out of a trade so you don't get burned. So that one, and then um, I also traded BTX. So this one, I'm really mad at myself because um, look at this thing from $29 all the way to almost $60 for a high. Um, and so I just made, I made a little bit of money in there because I was like, man, I missed it. So I didn't want to keep chasing it. So um, I think I got in a trade somewhere here uh, at about 40 something. Yeah, 40, 41 or so. Because look at that massive volume coming in. So I got in, then got out early. So when it got to the top, so got in a 41, it got up to like 45. And again, with these like, expensive stocks, I buy very small quantity. So that's why you see the profit doesn't really reflect. So the quantity that I buy is usually small. So it ripped all the way to like 45 or so. And I got out um, just to sit there and watch it rip all the way to 59. Oh, man. 
This is sometimes where you get frustrated as a day trader because you know that you let this one go. Because if I had just held this trade for maybe another 30 minutes, I would have made a lot of money off of the small investment that I put in the trade. So, but again, that's the nature of the market. You win some, you lose some. But the, 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 the good side of this particular thing is if I, this trade could have reversed to the downside and I would have lost money too. So I'm happy that I came out on top of this one. So, um, yeah, that was a that was a great trade there. I can't really complain because I mean I made money off of that trade. So, um, those are the key ones that I really I really liked. Um, so let's go back here and just gonna take a look. So we talked about ISMNS, we talked about Pixie, and then MyMet, um, and then we took BTX, and then um, RHE. So let's take a look at RHE because that's another one that came late um, in, late in the day. So look at that rip right there. I didn't see it. It just popped out of nowhere uh, before I got to it. It was already somewhere up here. So I started watching it and then cut it right here because I see that volume coming in right there. So I got in at like 7.6 or 7.7 .7, and then got out about 8.5. Again, this is one that I let got away because 8.5, look at it, it ripped all the way to 9.7. Um, you can't win them all, man. But I mean, I came out on top. So overall, um, my Friday was good, which is usually um, one of my worst days trading because it's so choppy. But I mean, we our daily goal was actually met, so we can look right. We had close to over, um, close to about five hundred bucks for the for the day. So that's that's excellent profit. I can't really complain about that. So uh, that's what I wanted to, to actually point out in this video. Um, one thing I want to really show you guys is this is like here, this trade or this um, this setup right here. This is what you would expect um, if your trade is excellent. Look at that rip. So it starts to rip. Look at volume comes in um, right here. Volume dies. I don't know why, but look at the volume keeps coming in high volume. It just rips all the way to the upside. This is where you want to be uh, as a day trader. Likewise, look at here again. His second move right here look at that volume pops in you get in it rips off you take your profit and you get out so those are some instances where you enjoy um isns uh, this this one was difficult uh, for people that are just starting out um i would not advise you to have taken this trade you have to know exactly what you're doing uh have your hot keys and everything ready to go to get out of that trade if things went south so um ideally I would advise if you are just a beginner and you're trading, this never would have been a good trade for you to take because um, this one did really build up the way I would have loved it. Um, and then the BTX, um, this is one that um, the setup was just perfect. Look at that. Look at that move from here as just straight up. Um, and again, you have some dips in between, but overall it's heading up. So that would have been another one that you could have traded if you were just starting out. So. Um, yeah, but look at it. It's still ripping right here, uh, but I'm done trading for, for, for right now, so I'm not going to trade this one. It's still ripping. Let's see if more volume comes in. You can see this thing go high. is right now uh, 59.5. So um, if you want to try to get in here, I'll let this one go test that high, break it, because uh, right here it can just do a false break here and then flush, and you either get got get stopped out or you get burned. So I'm not gonna touch it at that particular point. So guys, that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Just gonna give you guys some of my trade reviews and how my Friday went. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing guys, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.